Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be making one of these. I know it's amazing. I could play with this all day, but I'm busy. So let's get started. Actually, keep on looking at it while I tell you about Patreon. If you're interested in selling this thing, I can sell these licenses to be able to sell this and make a bunch of money. My license very cheap. Go check it out. At the it's in the video description below as well as an affiliate link for this particular filament because I think it looks super cool. Let's get started. We're going to start off with a cylinder and we're going to change these dimensions to five by five by point zero nine. Yep. It's a little tiny wafer. Hi. Hi. Now we're going to go to the shapes library and choose the shape generators. Here we're going to choose this one right here. I believe it's called a hyperbole. <laughs> Just kidding. Hyperboloid. Come on, you can do this. Lloyd. Hyperboloid. Hyperbole. I don't know. I guess I'm just exaggerating here. I want all the sides on this one. While we're waiting for that, we're going to rotate it as if it's bowing down to the little circle thing. The dimensions here are going to be 5 by 5. And now let's try to... Let me turn off here the snap grid because... Let's just move this down right now. Negative 2.5. Enter. Let's align this. Whoa. L right there. So we have this aligned, but we're not done yet. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to group this. So control B. I bundled it. Okay. I didn't group it. My bad. But now that I have it bundled, I'm going to hit control D to duplicate the letter M to mirror it. And now I'm going to hold the shift button down and drag it over here. Well, let's not get too close. Okay, we're going to do something now that I want you to pay attention. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to click the letter W and I want to put it right here. Now this is the work plane and I'm going to click the letter D and it's going to drop it down right there. Perfect. Now I'm going to click the letter W again and click on where the work plane was before. Great. We're going to be doing that at least two more times. So I'm going to drag, I'm going to go back to the shapes library, go to the basic shapes, get a cube, and I'm going to drag this so it's about the size of this thing. We're going to do the same thing. This is selected. I'm going to click the letter W and it's right over the cylinder. Now check this out. When I click the letter D, it's going to move up a little bit. Ready? Perfect. Now I'm going to have that there. I'm going to click the letter W again. So the work plane comes back and I'm just going to group everything. Control G. While this is processing, I'll bring another cube and I'll make it about the same length as that one. And now I'm going to drop it down below the work plane and I'm going to drag it underneath here. Okay, let's bring it over here. All right, whoa, too close. Now this is selected. I'm going to click the letter W and put it right there on this side of the cylinder. Now I'm going to click the letter D. Now it's directly under there. I'm going to click on the W and then the work plane. I think I'm going to group this. Yes, I am. I'm going to group it. All right. So we now have the very beginning of the spiral. What we're going to do now is we're going to make this into a spiral all the way across. We're going to make it into a star shape essentially, but a kind of weird looking star shape. So I'm going to duplicate this control D and I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees. And then notice I haven't clicked on anything else. I'm just going to click the letter D again and again. Okay. This part's very important because I had to record this four times because I forgot this part in particular. This is going to be moved up to 10. Why 10? It really doesn't matter, but 10 at least. When I had it at 0 0.09, it would just not work. So right now I have it at 10. I'm going to export this as an SVG. Almost had you there, huh? SVG. And what should I call this? I don't know. But when I name it, I think I named it outside. Oh, we're just going to call it spirals. Let's call it the star, spiral star. Later on, I'm going to refer to it as something else, but this is what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm talking about this spiral star. Save. Great. Now that we saved it, let's bring it back in here. Choose the file. There's the star. 
open. If you have it at 0.9, there's a good chance it will not actually show up. So let's move it here. Great. We are done with this one over here. So we're done. Let's get rid of that. Don't need extra spaces here. So we're going to move this down to 0 0.09. This is where the magic happens, people. This is where the magic happens. We have our snap grid off. So let's pay attention. Follow these next steps very carefully. I'm going to duplicate this. Control D. I'm going to move this up. I try to go to 0.9 every time, but it never works. So I'm just going to be 0 0.09. And then I'm going to rotate this. I try for 0 0.5, but it doesn't work. So I'm going to click on here. Negative 0.5, enter. Notice it's still selected. I haven't clicked anywhere else. So now Tinkercad has remembered my steps, and I'm going to do this. Control. I'm going to hold down Control and the letter D. And look what happens. I know it's beautiful. It's like watching a star be born. And honestly, this is just so soothing, so relaxing. Until, of course, Tinkercad breaks. I'm going to zoom away first so I can see more of this. Um, keep on going. Now the question is, how far should I go? I'm going to guess to about right here. Now, here's the thing. This thing is going to be huge, and depending on your computer speed, your processing power, the internet, this may not export. You may not be able to print it. If that's the case, what you should do is just select a small group and print the small group. I know it's not as cool as having a giant spiral thing, but you do want to print it. So again, if the whole thing doesn't, try half of it. If that doesn't work, try a half of the half, which is essentially a quarter of the whole design. But I'm going to try to get this to about over here and then almost there. Almost there, uh, right about. Oof. Okay, so there. I'm going to try to export and let's see what Tinker sa Tinkercad says is allowed. Okay, because it'll either say red, wrong, you don't try this, don't break it. By the way, if you break this, if you break Tinkercad because you're following my steps, I'm not taking the rap for you. I'm going to blame you. I'm going to say that I told you not to do it, but you did it anyway, so shame on you. Anyways, if you do get it to save, great, because now you can print it. But when you do print it, you want to save it. You want to print it at the finest settings, not 0 0.20. Oh, see, it's happened here too. So what I would do is I would just select these and say, OK, now let's export this one. Now, mind you, mine worked. How do I know? I printed it. I showed it to you at the beginning of the video. So now I selected only a third. Ah, it worked. See? Eh? Eh? So remember the impossible star? That is what we're going to import in the next part of this video because to do the next part, you're going to have to open up a new design from scratch because that part's done. The spiral part is completely done. Now we need that little cylinder that goes around it. And so the first thing we're going to do, sorry, is import, choose file, and use that star right there. So when I bring it in, it's going to be called something else. Import. Okay. So now that I have this, I'm going to make it go 0 0.09. And then I'm going to bring in a cylinder. And I'm going to maximize the sides already. I know that. And let's make this 50 by 50. And... This is going to be 0 0.09. There it is. All right. Now I'm going to select both, click the letter L to align, align there, align there. Oh, it's already aligned. Great. I'm going to make this circle disappear because I don't need her for a while. So there it is. Now, these little things, little fragments, I'm not sure why they're there, but they are. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate this thing. Control D. And because it's an SVG, we have these sh these uh, settings that we can manipulate. So we're going to change this to outer, and we're going to change this to 0 0.9. All 
All right, you with me so far? Okay, so that's what we, what we want right now, but check this out. I'm gonna bring in the cylinder and something horrible is gonna happen. Well, let me hide that. I'm gonna make this a hole and now bring this in. It looks like it should work, right? No problem, but it doesn't. Let me show you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna group these two and look what happens. Control G. Yeah, all that mess. Who wants to deal with that? Nobody. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select this and hide it. And now I'm gonna duplicate this inner one. Okay, the, the one that we, not the outside one, the inside one. Duplicate. Actually, no. Let me see which one I chose. I'm, I'm looking at my directions here. Okay, yeah, inner star. So I'm gonna raise this up. Let's say six. Oh, you know what? Perfect, six, but I need to change this to off. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to try to overlap this one that's standing up with that little edge right there. To do that, I'm gonna hold the shift button down and then I'm gonna move this slightly Let's go with 6.2, 6.2. Okay. Now, it's not gonna get rid of everything. It's gonna get rid of a lot of that stuff that we saw previously. So point 0.9, oh. point zero 0.09 there. Now, again, it's not gonna get rid of everything, but let's just, let's just bring that in. Control G, see, brought in a lot of stuff. So this is my sad way of fixing this. Actually, you know what? It's probably gonna be easier to bring in one of these and make it thin, I don't know, let's just say two. And uh, what did I click? Oh, I wanted this one right here. Let's make it 10. All righty, so, whoa. Okay, this is gonna be easier if we do this, look. Try to get that and that centered. Is it centered? Yeah, that's close enough. What I want is something to go straight up and down on these lines. That way this will be easier to manipulate. Just watch. So this one is gonna be right there and I'm gonna duplicate it I'm gonna mirror it and then move it over there with the arrow keys. I'm gonna hold the shift button down and the arrow Okay, so Tinkercad kind of caused this, but Tinkercad's also gonna solve it. I'm gonna select both of these by holding down the shift and selecting that one. I'm gonna duplicate and I'm gonna mirror and I'm gonna move it that way. And I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold the shift button down and then move this, oh my goodness, that's so slow. Move this over here until I get where I want, right there. Maybe a little bit further. See, this is what I'm looking at. I want this a little bit further that way, so I'm gonna hold the shift and right there okay now i'm going to select just these right here and i'm going to duplicate and rotate 45 45 and then duplicate duplicate now let's see if we got all of them mm -hmm. look at that okay so now i'm going to group these Control g perfect now I'm gonna, I know there's a way that you can create your own creations. I've tried them in the past, I didn't like that. So I'm gonna move this up and let's say 15. I'm gonna export this, export as an SVG. <laughs> really? Let's call it cylinder finally but this is the outside so we're calling that the outside great now let's import that svg file the one that we just named open it back up again import sometimes it gives me an error message but sometimes it doesn't all right now why did i do that because i don't want tinkercad to ha this right here requires more processing power 
than this one. So from what I'm about to do, I want all the processing power. In fact, I'm just going to delete this. I don't even want it near this. It's going to make it jealous or something. I don't know. So we have the snap grid off. I'm going to duplicate, move this up 0 0.09, and I could never get it. So I'm just going to type it 0 0.09. And then I'm going to rotate it. Do you guys remember how much I'm going to rotate it? Because I said it in the last time. I'm going to rotate it one. No, negative 0.5 there and this is what I'm doing I want to hit control D now for this one I could only go like I don't know a few millimeters that's why in my video you can only see a few of them so I don't even count that but you can see what it looks like right I'm just gonna hit export it may or may not export as an STL let's see I don't know let's see what happens while we're waiting, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and enemies. This is the, uh, I'm just going to click here outside and I like to type in the word final to tell me that this is the final version of that. Use SVG. No, I want, I want to use STL. Great. Now, if you print this again, print it on the finest setting that your printer can have. And this should work. Have a good day, you guys.